Welcome to Right on the Mark with your host Mark Young and the lovely Kim who's back this week. Who knew that she took a week off? Why can you take a week off and I can't take a week off? Uh, Why did you film whenever I wasn't here? You chose to have a I don't know, folks, but I got to... I didn't know about that. I got to keep going, folks. There's no rest for the weary. But anyway, folks, we got an old-fashioned going on. We got a right-on-the-mark old-fashioned going on Uh here with some Woodford Reserve. And I welcome you back to my channel. Is that why we're all sophisticated in that? (laughs) Sophisticationes. Donation. <laughs> As I always say. Oh, no yeah. doubt. But welcome back to my channel and my drink of the week. So we have a special drink prepared, which is going to be called a old-fashioned drink. But it's going to be not your regular old-fashioned because there's so many old-fashioned. Okay. I mean, there's muddling old-fashions. Oh, really? There's uh, a, a cube of uh, sugar old-fashions mm-hmm. where you muddle it. There's uh, simple syrup and Angostura bitters. We're just going to go with some stuff we discovered uh, off of our friends. Right, lovely Kim? Yes. What do we have going on here? You have some cherries from, like, what, Italy? Yes, they are. Not, they are... I don't even know how you say it. Yeah. They're, they're, they're Italy cherries, Armani, basically. Armani, Marina, Armarina. I'll just say Armani cherries. Okay. How about that? Go ahead. We have some simple syrup. We have some, uh, what is that? Some special Woodford bitters. Woodford Reserve spiced cherry, cherry bitters. bitters. So what else would you put in a old fashioned other than a Woodford Reserve mm-hmm. special cherry? Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cherries uh, and an orange. This orange is woman. a healthy drink. <laughs> I'll call you Orange Woman since okay. I'm the orange man. Okay. okay. We have to keep our country gate prepared. Uh, and we have some Woodford Reserve here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and prepare this. We're going to see what it tastes like. Okay. We've never had this before. So I'm going to prepare it, everything in a chilled cocktail. And then I'm going to strain it over a big piece of ice because you don't want to dilute the drink. You okay. want to taste all the alcohol. So ice in the big ice, glass. Yes, ice in the big glass. More? Oh, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to come behind the ice with a uh, just a teaspoon or a tablespoon, whatever you call this. Uh, Some sweetness. Big spoon right here. Huh? I'll say just a uh, 15 ml, which is a tablespoon. Okay. There you go. Put that back on. I feel like they cap right. that. Uh, we're going to come behind that. Lovely Kim, if you could put one Ooh. teaspoon, tablespoon eyedropper Some full of uh, cherry. Got going on that's here. right, Cherry Woodford Reserve. Right. No doubt. There we go. Uh, there we go. It doesn't smell any better than no, that. No, it smells good. Uh, I can't wait to taste it. It smells this. like smoky. Smoke. It does. I love smoky drinks. No doubt. So we're going to come behind that with a uh, full jig of the. Woodford Reserve Bourbon. Now you could use rye, you could use regular whiskey. I kind of like the uh, southern taste of a bourbon. So all we're trying to do is chill it quickly before we strain it over a big block of ice. Okay. Right, lovely Kim? So before I put this in there, you're going to put a block of ice in our rocks glass, simply because we don't want any dilution. Delucion. Sweet vindication. Of course. You know, it's Saturday. King of Queens is on 24 7 on Saturday, just in case you know what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what? I just figured out what I want for dinner a nice hot bowl of shutted stew. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and strain that. I'm going to open up these delicious cherries. Wait, I'm going to Boy, do you think there's some sugar in there or what? Oh my gosh. Pour Any... some sugar on there. You know what me. I need? What? Okay, you. Me. <laughs> Everybody needs a little bit of right on the mark. Uh, sorry, folks. Uh, we need I put lotion junior. on. Yeah. All we right. are definitely Weenie Hut Jr. So right. open that up. Ah, uh, there we go. A very. No assistant. Yes, it's very satisfying when you open up. Am I putting this in there jar. first? Uh, yeah, Before go ahead. You, you, that on you could put that right on top of that okay. uh, block of Are ice. Are we putting there? some juice in there too, or not? Sure, oh, a little bit of juice. That. Only one. There you go. One little 
cherry. That's fine. So I'm going to pour this over there. As I pour it over there, you're going to come behind that with an orange peel to wipe around the rim of the glass. Okay. This way you get the aroma of the orange before you actually lay or spritzer the orange inside the drink. So once again, the large ice cube isn't going to dilute as fast as small chunks. This smells so good. Oh yeah, I could taste it. I could smell it over. I could taste it without even sipping it. Is that possible? <laughs> but anyway, folks, if you're ever in the area of Western Pennsylvania, Capstone Grill Bar Restaurant has the best Woodford Reserve Manhattan, uh, old fashioned. Yeah. They specialize in this. Uh, our friend Jeremy, who we went to a Christmas party, he specializes in old fashions. He loves old fashions. He does an awesome job. I love his old fashioned. In fact, who's old fashioned don't I like? I don't know. We'll see if you like this one. Oh, I bet you I will. But anyway, folks, mm -hmm. all the ingredients are here. It's very simple. We're going to go ahead, dive in, and take a test. All right. So, you go first since you're the connoisseur of. Well. We'll just say it. it's almost like a Manhattan. I almost want to pour some sweet vermouth in here. So we're going to go old fashioned going in. Salud. Oh, yeah. That's... Could you smell that orange? I could smell the orange. I could taste the bitters. I could taste the smokiness. Now, if you go to a restaurant, this is all you're going to get basically is a shot. It's going to cost you 20 bucks, <laughs> no doubt. Nothing's it's a cheaper. Sipper. That's yeah. a sipper. Nothing's cheap anymore. This is going to cost you 20 bucks, but it's barrel flavored. It tastes great. I'll let you taste it. Right. I know you're not a bourbon girl, nope. but you're a country girl. So oh, I know you'll like it. It smells really good. Uh, it smells fantastic. I'll put a link down below where you can get the Woodford Reserve cherry uh, bitters. I'll let you know all the ingredients and everything you need. To know you're keeping it. it's that good you're keeping it. It is really good. No doubt. Simple I syrup. I could taste a simple syrup. Man, I could drink this all night I long. Know. This is definitely a sipper, folks. Yeah. So for sure, I gotta Not give it a big bingo, baby. This will take you to the promised land. Not a sipper if you're sharing it. Stick to the program. I'll take you where you need to go. There's no doubt about it. All this that we have right here is very simple. Yeah. As usual. So anyway, folks, we uh, want this is a good one. Yeah, we want you to know to try this. So comment below. Let us know what you think of this uh, old fashioned. There's plenty of ways to make it. We don't have a cube of sugar. We don't have all this fancy stuff. We this, just have the this bare is yeah. Metal. This is a quick way to to make it. Do you get it smoked too? Like uh, the one get, that you yeah, got? You can get it smoked at okay. uh, Bonefish Restaurant. Uh, so we have a small community here in the valley that we do, like in the Washington Township that. People can make this very different ways. We chose to make it this way. Let me know how you know. Let me know how you make yours. I mean, some people don't use cherries. Some people use uh, sweet vermouth. Some people don't yeah. use any of that. Yeah. But I think for sure, this is a winner, winner. Sounds good. Right on the mark, chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> chicken man dinner. That's right. Whoa, chicken man. <laughs> anyway, folks, that about wraps it up for Right on the Mark with your host. Mark Young and the lovely Kim. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you don't miss any of this, any of this, and any of this. Woo. See you next time, folks. <laughs> Isaac. One more week till the wedding. One more week till the wedding. That's right. <laughs>